Check, check. Don't say any colors okay. or what the design is because I want to be surprised okay. too. Okay, so today we have another 44 glove unboxing. We've done not one, but two 44 glove unboxings. One for me, one for my brother, and now we make it a family affair today because my dad finally gets his 44. Been waiting 52 days, so today we're gonna open it up. I don't know what color it is, I don't know what style it is, so I'm just as excited. If I had to guess, I'm thinking the old man kept it simple, so I'm just gonna go with some tans, tan leathers. Ooh, maybe some blondes on there, maybe okay, some blondes. Okay, okay, let's get into it. the red white and blue 44 we haven't done a first try on yet but we're gonna wait a second while I was handling it doing some filming I said that I think his 11 and a half is a lot lighter than my 11 and a quarter so we're gonna put it to the test real quick one pound 5.6 ounces one pound 6.1 ounce so I was right my smaller glove heavier than his bigger glove why'd you choose for your first 44 why'd you go with red well, white and blue since we moved to Cleveland, I kind of became an Indians fan. So that's why I went with the red and the blue. Snake skin on the sides. Yep. Thumb and the pinky. And snake skin on the index right. finger. I feel like that blue is new. Blue. Or no. Blue. Is that a new color? I I think it's just navy. All right. You ready for your first yeah. try on? I'm ready. Ooh, pretty tight. Let's see a first squeeze. Ooh, she's stiff. <sighs> That's gonna be a workout. Did you get the regular stiffness or the pro stiffness? This is the regular stiffness. I can't imagine the pro stiffness. Do you feel over here where you're... Wait a I know second. You said, I know you said you had a ridge on yours. Yours and mine are different, which I do like your design better because if yeah, you recall, I have the issue. It's really tight in the thumb here, right where, right where this goes across is right, you can actually see it in my thumb. You can actually see where it's leaving a little crease in my thumb. It's pretty similar to the A2000s, that thumb there, where it keeps that seam out of the way of the middle of your thumb. Yeah, it feels good. I think it'll break in nicely. Way better than I thought it was gonna be. So, as we previously discussed, my glove and my dad's glove were a bit different, where he didn't have the thumb issue like I did. We discovered that is because of the type of design that I chose versus the type of design that he chose. Specifically, it was the welting choice. I chose the single welting, which means there will be one of these seams going through each finger, whereas my dad chose the dual welting, which has two of those seams running through each finger, which in turn means that the thumb issue how I have one single seam going down my thumb, causing an indent on my thumb like I showed in the first video. His dual welting would have two 
going down the thumb, which leaves room for his thumb to not have any seam, which when I tried on his, I would say his is much more comfortable, making me wish that I got the dual welting instead. He also decided to go with the fur in the wrist where I went with the moisture wicking. It's supposed to last longer, but the comfortability of the fur, I would say ranks a little bit higher than the moisture wicking that I have. I'm not necessarily regretting getting this one. However, if I were to design a glove in the future, I might stick with the moisture wicking just because I know how dirty fur can get, but I would definitely go with the dual welting. So just something to think about if you're building your own glove. All right, final takeaways. I like it, I like it. One uh, session of catch, made a huge difference already. I think I'm gonna like it. All right, battery's about to die. All right. We'll say goodbye till next time, till you get your next 44. Tell the next one. Don't tell mom. <laughs> Don't tell your mother. <laughs>